In this tutorial, we will begin the actual process of making a model move. Let's try to animate the eyes and the mouth. To begin, since we are about to work on the eye, lock all the other parts. Click on the circle next to the item on the parts tree to toggle lock. When the parts are locked, they are disabled from being selected on the canvas. Next, let's select all the parts for one eye. On the parts tree, hold down shift to select multiple objects. With all the left eye parts selected, click on the IL open parameter and then click on the add to keyform button. This sets all the art meshes we selected to have two key nodes established on two ends of the IL open parameter. When you are not selecting any of the established objects, you'd only see white dots on the parameter. When you select an object and it has nodes on the parameter, you'd see green dots. Each dot stores data of a keyform. Now the two green dots have stored the same keyform of the default state. The red dot sets the value of this parameter. Your model would perform any changes accordingly. Let's give it a quick test. Try setting the red dot to a green dot and then move an object. Now slide the red dot along the bar to reach the other green dot. As you can see, your model is performing a movement. Press Ctrl and C to undo. We first establish our default keyform with the default state of our model's eye. In this particular case, the character's eye is half-closed at default. We need to create another node somewhere in between the two ends. We can use the add3 keyform function. This adds two nodes on both ends and one in the middle. However, the key value has not been changed. We need to change the default value from 1.0 to 0.5. Click on the Parameter Settings button and locate IL Open from the list. Double click the value in the standard column and enter 0.5. Then press OK. Let's lock the default keyform. Click on the menu button and then click on lock default. Or use the hotkey, control, shift and one. This prevents the default node to be accidentally edited. If we attempt to edit the locked node, a message would appear. Let's make a closed eye keyform. Set the parameter to the node at value 0.0. .0. Now we deformed the eyelid so that the eye is shut. We can first move it to the approximate position. Click on the center point of the red frame to move the whole piece. Next. We need to edit the shape of the eyelid into a curve. While we can edit each dot manually, it is quite some work. Instead, we can use the Deform Path tool. Click on the Deform Path tool button and then click on the selected object to drop a control point. Allocate three of these to form a path. Remember to have at least one art mesh selected when we use the Deform Path tool, or else it does not do anything. 
revert to the regular cursor tool. We may now click drag the control points to move them individually. Deform the object into the shape we want. When it is about right, further refine the shape by editing individual vertices. Give the movement a test. See if the eyelid is performing the blinking motion properly. The movement seems fine, but the top part of the eyelid still needs some work. The eyelid art mesh is now bigger than the eye. As we can see, there is a portion of the eyelid beyond the rim of the actual eye. We would want to trim off the part. This is where we use the mask clipping function. We want the eyelid to never show its area beyond the eye's boundary, which is exactly the shape of the eye white. Select the eye white to copy its ID from the inspector panel. Select the eyelid and paste the ID into the clipping ID field in the inspector. A message would appear. Click OK to proceed. Check with the parameter again. The top of the eyelid is trimmed off nicely around the edge of the eye. Seems good enough. Then, do the remaining parts with the same procedure. Remember to also clip the lower eyelid and the pupil pieces onto the eye white. When we're done with the left eye, we can do the right eye. Go through the same procedure. We are using the IR open parameter this time. With the methods we've just learned, we can also apply them to the mouth. Start with the upper lips. Use the deform path tool to transform the closed upper lips. Then do the lower lips. Use the mask clipping function to clip the teeth and the tongue to the inner mouthpiece. Now we only need to fold down the inner piece and use the deform path tool to curve it into the shape of the lips. Proceed to make other mouth shapes variations. This is how we set up the eye blinking and the mouth talking animations.